Historically, those with air power in war have mastered the initiative on the battlefield. All military and military powers have invested a lot of resources into developing advanced combat aircraft. The United States is the world's high-tech aviation power. After the F-22, F-35, and other fifth-generation fighters entered service, the U.S. military has begun planning the development of the sixth-generation, next-generation air domination program. NGAD fighter. The U.S. Air Force also announced the first flight of the prototype NGAD program on September 14, 2020. Although details are still kept secret, the media said the test flight broke many records. NGAD is currently developing flight control software and a mission management system, which means that national defense technology innovations can be more efficiently integrated into aircraft vehicles eliminating the need for step-by-step -step flight testing of new aircraft as in the past. U.S. Air Force executives announced in April this year the advanced technology of the sixth-generation fighter jet functions from the point of departure from an upgraded software update. Defense scientific research institutes and manufacturers can use existing flight control software, separated from mission system software functions, and incorporate additional modules to improve flight control and make it more secure and reliable. Efficient Integration of Innovative Technologies The U.S. NGAD 6th Generation Fighter has been included in the fiscal year 2023 budget, and it is planned to gradually replace 33 retired F-22s starting in 2030, but Congress still has a different opinion may cost at least $200 million to produce. In its latest budget proposal, the U.S. Air Force asked Congress to provide $1.65 billion as a base amount for the program. Second, it also plans to build a family of systems, including an AI unmanned autonomous fighter jet. A manned fighter jet will be similar to the function of a stadium quarterback. The drones can be mounted with armed or electronic warfare pods to help fighter jets penetrate enemy air defense nets more effectively. As for the U.S. Navy, it is developing its own NGAD, tentatively called the F-AXX, which was launched at the U.S. Department of Defense. NGAD for the U.S. Navy and Air Force will adopt an efficient and innovative acquisition model that enables competition among different defense contractors, as long as they meet Department of Defense standards, form, and function. This model can encourage healthy competition between manufacturers, and the Ministry of Defense will get better fighters and lower prices, and competition between defense contractors results in more efficient and time-saving programs. NGAD will have three participating vendors, one for design, one for production, and one for maintenance. U.S. NGAD remains highly classified and is considered a special program with little information on the details. It is expected that the new fighter will fly at a speed similar to the F-22's Max 2.8 speed and an upper limit of 22,000 meters. Military experts want more information on how the Gen 6 system operates, which can only be released in a classified briefing to the U.S. Congress, with general news only mentioned in the brief. NGAD is expected to be used with unmanned systems in combination with new software upgrade methods. However, given the huge cost, the U.S. Department of Defense remains to see if it can be deployed on time and on budget by the early 2030s, which will be a key factor in whether NGAD can actually be realized. Combined Formation of Manned and Unmanned Fighters the U.S. NGAD recently got a boost in a congressional defense budget proposal calling for more research and development funding that could accelerate development of the new fighter jet. An ample defense budget would allow the U.S. Air Force and Navy to develop military aircraft far ahead of Russia and China. In 2020, the U.S. Air Force revealed that it would design, manufacture, and test a truly top-secret fighter jet in just one year. The fighter jets are part of the U.S. Air Force's NGAD program, which aims to completely replace the F-22 fleet by 2030. As part of the NGAD program, the Air Force has decided to shift some of its budget to NGAD research. 
The U.S. House Armed Services Committee recently revealed that there will be two types of NGAD, one for long-range missions in the Indo-Pacific theater, mainly used against the Chinese G-20, and the other for Europe, deployed against Russia. Su-57 Given the many problems in previous joint research and development of the F-35, which led to delays in replacing military service and increasing budgets, the U.S. Air Force and Navy have their own NGAD development plans at this stage. Experts draw imaginary maps through computer simulations based on the available information. This is a triangular fighter without a vertical tail. The NGAD program is a new fighter jet with increased speed, maneuverability, stealth technology, and AI-assisted data processing. In addition, NGAD will be designed to carry out unmanned missions and participate in manned and unmanned cooperative formations, capable of handling any complex situation that arises under the All Domains Joint Administration (JADC2), replacing the F-15 and F-22 in the future. NGAD, evolving from concept to practicality, is one of the U.S. Air Force's future seven combat missions. Under this framework, NGAD is critical to countering the growing threat from Russia and the CCP. For example, the new combat system includes the ability to carry the AM-260 combined advanced tactical missile, as well as hypersonic weapons, which are actively being developed. Developing a sixth-generation fighter jet, judging by the US NGAD, which has developed and tested prototypes, the CCP's advances in air software technology, flight control and weapons research and development may still be far behind the US. The US Navy launched the sixth generation F AXX program in 2008, and the US Air Force launched the Next Gen TACAIR. Next Gen TACAIR program of the FX program in 2010. If development goes well, the Air Force and Navy, the U.S. is expected to field its first sixth-generation fighter jet by 2030. The U.S. Air Force plans to develop and purchase the sixth-generation fighter jet through the NGAD program to replace the current F-15 fighter jet, with the ultimate goal of replacing the F-22 fighter jet. Currently in use, the U.S. Navy's F-AXX program continues the same name and is also intended to complement the smaller F-35C and replace existing aircraft, such as the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. Returning to the development of the next-generation fighter, initially led by the Defense Advanced Technology Research and Development Agency under the Air Excellence Program to develop the Prototype X aircraft, the U.S. Navy and Air Force each have variants that focus on their mission requirements to avoid gaps in general development of the F-35. Fight against Russian, Chinese fighter jets. In 2013, the RAND Corporation, a U.S. think tank, recommended that the U.S. Department of Defense avoid a joint plan by various services to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet design. Because, in the previous joint project, the design compromise due to the special requirements of the different services has increased the cost compared to the ordinary single-service project. DOD proposes a broader proactive technology approach, with Air Force aircraft expected to operate with ground-based and non-kinetic air defense weapon solutions with a larger weapons payload than existing fighter jets. 